Cash is creation quarter announcement is soon. After the quarter, we'll get the month, and then we'll get the week. No, I'm just kidding. When we get closer to the quarter, they're supposed to give us the actual day and not lead us on any further. We are very close to the Alpha 2 quarter announcement for Ashes of Creation during the December live stream. We also have Alpha 2 packs ending January 17th. Time is running out to buy a pack, so with that in mind, I thought I would do a full breakdown of what to expect in Alpha 2 to see if you might be interested in buying a pack for yourself. I do of course have a referral code if you do decide to buy a pack, and using it will support the channel. Before we dive into the details of Alpha 2, I do think the majority of people watching this video should not buy a pack. This is going to be a true alpha, it will not be a full-fledged game. There will be massive bugs, the game might be a little bare bones at the start of Alpha 2, and the price is pretty crazy. It is $250 to get Alpha 2 access, which, yes, some people make the case that you do get 6 months of game subscription when the game comes out, which indeed is a $90 value, and you also get $100 of embers that can be used on the in-game cosmetic store in addition to the cosmetics that come with the pack. While that does make the steep price a little more palatable, if you're like me and not a big spinner on cosmetics, it is still pretty expensive no matter how you approach it. Now, the part you came here for. What exactly will Alpha 2 entail? Well, as always, the wiki has a great breakdown of everything that has been said historically, and that page will be linked below as well. But as always, some of the quotes are old, and some of the newer quotes contradict the older quotes. For example, right at the beginning, it is stated that all of the core game systems are expected to be in at the start of Alpha 2. This contradicts with the statement that naval content will not be in at the start of Alpha 2, which to me is a core feature, and previous statements that not all archetypes would be in at the start of Alpha 2. Although recently, Steven did say that the summoner might actually make it in at the start of Alpha 2, which is the only archetype that previously they said would not be in at the start. I also want to point out that the experience at the beginning of Alpha 2 might be wildly different from the experience at the end of Alpha 2. At the end of Alpha 2, it is said that the game will be feature complete. At the start, it might not be 100% feature complete, though I do think it will be close, but some of the features might be bare bones. I also expect Alpha 2 to last at least two years before the betas, but again, this is my personal speculation. So in that time, I expect to see drastic changes to the experience. Also, when I say end of Alpha 2, the reality is Alpha 2 servers will become the test servers during the betas and full launch of the game, so technically Alpha 2 never really ends. As for what content we will see in Alpha 2 at the start, I don't want to bore you with every single detail of what we will see or won't see, but I will hit the highlights. The wiki page for Alpha 2 is pretty short, go give it a quick read to see the full rundown. But in general, most features in the game will make an appearance at some point in Alpha 2. Zones that Steven has mentioned will be in Alpha 2 are the Riverlands, Badlands, Sand School Desert, Tropics, Forest, Tabletop Mountains, Tundra, and the Ocean. All of these except the Tundra are on the Western Continent. The Eastern Continent is said to be added later in Alpha 2. Most people do not expect all of these zones to be in at the beginning of Alpha 2, instead they will be added as Alpha 2 progresses. At the start, most people expect to see the Riverlands and maybe two additional zones max. Keep in mind, Ashes of Creation has a huge map, so even if they just have the Riverlands, which is approximately 35 square kilometers, that is a lot of playable area for an alpha. Or if they start with the Riverlands, Desert, and Tropics, which is a common guess I keep seeing on the official Discord, then that would be approximately 80 square kilometers. Once all the zones mentioned are added later in Alpha 2, we might be approaching 200 square kilometers of land area and 400 or more square kilometers of ocean area, which would put this map at bigger than a lot of existing launched MMOs and would only be about half of the full release map. In comparison, New World, which had one of the smaller MMO maps we have ever seen, was 40 square kilometers at launch. Vanilla WoW was around 200 square kilometers. So there eventually will be plenty of exploration available in the alpha with how large the map is. The character creator, which Intrepid wants to be one of the best ever seen in the genre, will be present in Alpha 2, but may not be feature complete yet, at least at the start. Intrepid has stated that they do intend to have the character creator available before the start of Alpha 2. Character progression up to level 35 is said to be in Alpha 2, however, so far the highest level we have seen is level 25 in the live streams. So it would not surprise me if that is the cap at the start and later it's raised to 35. As said before, all archetypes except the summoner are confirmed for the launch of Alpha 2, and recently summoner was also said to potentially make it into the launch of Alpha 2 as well. Some secondary classes and augments are said to be available as well at the start of Alpha 2, 
Weapon skill trees will be in Alpha 2 at some point. Weapon skill trees are one of the three combat skill trees players will have in Ashes in addition to the passive and active skill trees. The weapon skill tree works in conjunction with player abilities and other players abilities to work with the combo system, which will be present in Alpha 2. As for nodes, node progression to the city stage or stage 5 is said to be in at the start of Alpha 2, but stage 5 nodes might be using stage 4 assets at first. Naval content will not be in at the start of Alpha 2 and will be added as an update during Alpha 2. Alpha 2 does not have an NDA as well, so stream away, and I will of course be doing plenty of that on my Twitch. Bear McCreary's music will make an appearance at some point in Alpha 2 as well. The current music is all placeholder. This will be the first time we hear the bespoke music made for the game. Vibe string testing will happen as well, as is usual with an alpha test. So that is what to expect from testing. As I said before, most should not buy the expensive Alpha 2 packs. I would only recommend it if you fully believe in the vision of this project. I'm a big believer in the project, but even I have some doubts which I have certainly expressed quite a few times in the past, and will be doing more so in the future. Also, don't fall for the FOMO. Packs are ending for now, but they have ended pack sales in the past, and they have went back up for sale later. I suspect after the launch of Alpha 2, once things stabilize, they might decide they want more testers and start pack sales again. The latest quote was from January of this year and stated that over 100k Alpha 2 packs have been purchased. By now, I suspect it's probably much higher, but eventually they may want even more testers, so don't FOMO buy. Waiting for the improvements later on in Alpha 2 is probably the better move for most people. That being said, the only history we have is with the Alpha 1 packs. Packs were not available for about three years, but eventually did go on sale again a few months before Alpha 1 testing started. I suspect there will not be a three-year gap with Alpha 2 packs, but again, we don't know yet. That being said, there are of course some advantages to buying into Alpha 2 testing. The biggest is the knowledge factor. Now I get it, some people like the exploration aspect and finding things out at the launch of the game, but there are those of us that like to play competitively and for those people MMOs are oftentimes very much a knowledge game. Those that have been playing for years before the launch will have a clear advantage over those that haven't. In addition, guilds will have a chance to refine their techniques and learn to work as a team more effectively. Alpha guilds will have a huge advantage, everything else being equal. With all that in mind, my guild is recruiting and the link is below. Thanks for watching and maybe I'll see some of you guys in Alpha 2. Uh, first and foremost, we've got our YouTube spotlight comment and this one comes from a, a Slender MMO or if that's lead speak, SL3NDER. Um, and they want to know, is the development team moving away from action? Oh, oh this is the wrong scene. That's Sorry. The wrong slide. It's the wrong one. Uh, I thought I grabbed the other one. <laughs>